Hello everybody, and welcome to the third screencast, um, where I'll be talking about drawing points and lines in OpenGL in two dimensions, and this time we're going to have a lot less spelling errors. So looking at the code here, we're just going to get right into it, I'm going to define pi here, we'll be using that later, okay, finding a length of an array in C, we'll use that later. A um, couple of new things here, uh, window width and window height have been used to replace those in the um, init window size method just to make it easier if you want to change them. We've also added a keyboard function here um, with the function callback of window key. Um, the window key uh, method uh, we just check for 27 and then exit which is the escape key it just makes a ni nice little convenient method for escaping from our function. Everything else is the same and so the only thing we're going to be looking at here is inside of the display function. The find a bunch of variables here, which will be used, um, and then we will start to go ahead and draw those. So, um, right now, if we just go ahead and make this, everything is unused, and this is what you see, not a lot going on. So, let's get started here, and so first we'll start off and, and do GL points, which um, allows us to, well, as you might think, draw some points. So I have the code uh, already written out here to help save on spelling errors, like I said before. So first we start off with GL begin, and then we call GL color three FV, um, and then color one. So here is color one is defined as one one one. Vertex one is defined as zero point zero zero point five, and so on. You can also use multi-dimensional. Um, Arrays here, so color 2, 3, the first one is um, this color right here, RGB, so all green, and then all blue. So this is just a different way of showing um, how you can set those as opposed to setting them um, individually, uh, which I normally do. Um, this will allow you to reuse code easily. So let's go ahead and save that and switch over to terminal make that bad boy and there's our dots you can see them they're very very small points so let's go ahead and, and make those a little bigger so we have this function geo point size allows us to change well the size of the points obviously so there they are a little bit bigger and um, so that's geo points it's not a lot to it so we can go ahead and move right along to GL lines. So, GL lines, kind of the same thing, um, just defining vertexes and then going ahead and um, displaying those. So, here we're going to set some colors and some points, make it, and there's the line. So, you got from one spot to the other. Now you might be thinking, wait a minute, there's three vertexes here. Why isn't it drawing all the way around? Well, that's not exactly the way GL lines works. The way it works is it'll draw between the first two vertexes, and then the next two after that, and the next two after that. So in this one, we display four vertexes. And if we make it, there'll be two different lines between the first two points and then between the next two points. So that's the way GL lines works. So... But what you might be thinking about more along the lines is GL line strip. So the way GL line strip works is it continues on until it connects each of the lines except for the last line. So except for the last vertex, excuse me. So we have four vertexes defined, and we connect the first to the second, second to the third, and third to the fourth, interpolating colors in between. So we have first to second, second to third, third to fourth, but we do not connect all the way back to the original one. So for that, um, you're going to want to look at the GL line loop. So let's go ahead and draw this GL line loop here. Same thing, we got uh, four different vertexes with four different colors. 
and we connect all four vertexes. So that's a lot more uh, along the lines of what a lot of people might think you'd be doing. So now we're going to use other constructs in these GL begin and GL end as well. So what what are some of these constructs we can use? Well, we can use you know for loops, for example. So here I'm going to I'll loop through with the GL line loop um, using that length. Uh, defi definition to define the top of the col uh, color four vertex, and then for each of those points, I'm going to say, okay, I want the color four i and the vertex four i. So moving back up, those are these. So each of these functions here, we're able to pull out these individual points and corresponding colors. So that allows us to do a lot of th more things programmatically. So. There we go. We have four different points uh, interpolated in between, um, created using a loop, as opposed to call, uh, calling each of those things individually. Um, likewise, you know, we can do some fun math in here. So, if you liked trigonometry um, with the cosines and angles and whatnot, there we can draw a little circle. So we have um, an angle defined by pi and 180 points all the way around, taking cosine and sine, and that makes us, makes a nice little circle for us. So there, there's a couple other uh, functions here that we can take a look at before we wrap up. And the main one is GL line width, so we can make these lines a little bit faster, and then GL line stipples. So, in OpenGL, in order to use a lot of functionality, you have to enable it first. So this line right here allows us to enable line stipples, and this is the pattern for the line stipple. So, you go ahead and make this, and that's the stipple design set out by that uh, particular um, call that I made. So, let's just change that real fast. To show the difference and you see there's only four here now and let's do the last one just so you can see a little more of what that looks like and that's the last one so um, play with that you can have a lot of different types of layouts and, and line stipples and whatnot and that about wraps things up here um, one of the last thing I think I said window key is new and then using gel line loops, line strips, lines, and points, as well as calling the vertex f, 3f, v, and vertex 2f, v. So the v function allows you to pass in a vertex. That's it. Hope you guys enjoyed the screencast. Talk to you later.